from around the globe. It's theCUBE, with digital coverage of Commvault Future Ready 2020. Brought to you by Commvault. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is theCUBE's coverage of Commvault's Future Ready event. Welcoming back to the program, fresh off the keynote stage, Sanjay Merchandani, he's the CEO of Commvault. Sanjay, nice job on the keynote, and thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Stu, good to see you again. Yeah, nice, nice to see you too. So Sanjay, about a year and a half uh, into your uh, journey with Commvault, uh, you, you, you took over and you know, wow, it looks like you, you've almost completely uh, refreshed the portfolio there. Uh, maybe start a little bit, you know, future ready. Tell us how you're getting Commvault and its customers uh, ready to be prepared for what happens today as well as the future. Right, so, you know, we've, we've, um, we've been busy. The, the, the past 18 months have, have flown by in the past four or five even faster. Um, the change, you know, the change that we've had to all deal with as, as, as organizations has been tremendous. We've been hard at work. Um, when I came on board, I sort of talked about how we were um, setting out to simplify, innovate and execute all three of those pillars. And, um, and Future Ready, which I love as a, as a term, um, completely embodies what I think uh, the work we've been up to and what the world needs today, which is really getting it ready for whatever's next. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and it's, a, it's a coming together of, of innovation, uh, simplification, and, and hopefully you'll agree uh, some good execution to, to bring it all together. Yeah, so we've been busy. Yeah, Sanjay, I, 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 you, you talked a bit about just the, the moment in time that we are in. I wonder if you can bring us inside you know, your customers. So there's certain things that we saw for a couple of months people put a pause on. Other right. things absolutely have been accelerated. We talked to customers about uh, their adoption of cloud, you know, digital transformation. And it's one of those things that, boy, I, I, I hope I'm through some of those or you know, can be as agile as possible. But you know, what, what are you yeah. hearing specifically from yeah. your customer base and how they're dealing with things? You know, Stu, I, I touched a little bit on that on, on during my, my keynote. And you know, this, 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 this time that we're in has really caused uh, I think a couple of shifts. The first structural shift was, oh heck, this thing is here to stay, um, and let's get our you know our employees uh, working and productive and keep the businesses running and keeping them safe and everything else. That first shift happened you know right on on us in about what was it Feb March April, and businesses small and big had to figure out how to take uh, go from their 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 operating model into a into a remote model. With the remote model, you reprioritized and you thought through what was important at the time and, and what it was, was really getting laptops into the hands of your employees, getting them safe into their working environment, making sure your business processes um, leaned in in that direction, uh, you could take care of your customers and, and so on. That was sort of the first structural phase. The second structural phase was, okay, how do we really drive productivity? What are the new priorities? What do we need to do? What, what do we want to invest in? What do we want to pull back from? And from our vantage point, from a, from a technology and data point of view, what we're hearing is uh, the themes that, that if I had to paraphrase the conversations I have at CIOs, it's and CEOs, it's really around, hey, um, simplification. This is, a, this is a great time to really simplify and, um, you know, and make sure that you're working with a tried and tested. It, you, this is not the time to experiment. This is not the time for esoteric. This is really about simplifying and, and working with a tried and tested. Um, the second is really about focusing on skills. You know, this is, you need, you need to be able to leverage and you need to be able to bring productivity from the, from the people that you have in IT and, and really focus around that. That's, you know, that's sometimes forgotten. The, you know, the, I like to call them the unsung heroes of technology have just been pushed into their homes. They're now doing their jobs, uh, longer hours, tougher scenarios. They have no access to their data centers, so on and so forth. So let's think about skills. And the third, you know, the, the third thing really that has been propelled into this conversation is cloud. So if you were on a journey, you're off the journey, you need to get there quickly, okay? And you need to really, really leverage a light touch, low touch, um, remote sort of capability uh, as fast as you can. Call it digital transformation, call it whatever you'd like to say, but it is about truly leveraging the cloud um, in a way that that was no longer, you know, a one year, two year, three year plan. You just have to bring it right in. Just those are the kinds of things we're hearing and, and dealing with. Yeah, I, I, so important, Sanjay, especially that simplicity piece. Uh, you know, I, I remember a few years ago, 
uh, there were certain customers that were adopting cloud and it was the reminder, oh hey, your, your data protection and your security, you need to make sure you take care of that when you go to the cloud. And unfortunately, you know, some of the people that are now accelerating things uh, you know, have to quickly say, oh wait, I can't work this in a few months, I need to take care of this uh, yeah. upfront. So help us understand a little bit uh, you know, the, the, the announcements that you've made, how are you making sure that you're ready for uh, yeah. you know, customers, the simplicity that they need to take advantage of the, the innovation and opportunity that, that cloud uh, and, and solutions provide. Absolutely, and, and, and make no mistake, for me, Stu, simplification is not just um, the technology is easier to use, even though that is a big part of what we're working on and working and, and delivering through these announcements. But we've also got to make sure that um, the partnerships that we, that, we, that we have lend themselves to what customers need you know, engineered better at source, not in the field, Give, you know, and then, and then the ecosystem to make the technology available and consumed commercially in the way um, that customers would like to keep that simple too. But today, if I just focus on the portfolio, um, you know, we've, we've, uh, you could say we've completely rebuilt this incredible stack of technology that we've, we've built this company on. And, um, you know, and we, we've, in a nutshell, what we've done is uh, announced a, um, We've taken our backup and recovery suite and we're saying we've got a new uh, Commvault backup and recovery product. We've got a brand new Commvault disaster recovery product. You can get them together as a unit, uh, as, as the complete backup and recovery uh, suite, if you would. Uh, so that's one big set of offerings. The second, and you know, the second is, is we bought Hedvig, um, a sort of a next generation software defined storage technology company last year. And we've been feverishly at work, quietly at work, integrating Hedvig into Commvault, not just as a company, but in the technology. And our new hyperscale technology, Hyperscale X, is the embodiment of those two things coming together. The best of data protection from Commvault and the best storage subsystem to drive that from Hedvig, also from Commvault. So the two come together. Uh, and all of this technology, whether it's the suite that I mentioned or the hyperscaler, all of it, you can you can mix and match any way you want with a, with with a world class user interface or user interfaces. If you want, you know, command lines. If you want APIs, we give it all all of it to you. In addition, we've got uh, announcements around our Activate suite, uh, and recently we we talked about our partnership with Microsoft with the uh, Metallic Azure uh, sort of combination for customers. So it's a it's a left to right set of announcements with simplification threaded right through it. Yeah, so Sanjay, you mentioned partnerships uh, a little bit before the show. Uh, you, you had, of course, the extended partnership with Microsoft, uh, yeah. with Metallic. Maybe give us just a little bit more color about you know, how Commvault makes sure they're positioned and working closely uh, with those hyperscalers. Yeah, you know, and we work with all hyperscalers. So you know, we are probably the most prevalent um, data protection technology, if you would, in the, in the public cloud. And, and more so, you know, we, we, we talk about over an exabyte that we've helped customers write to the cloud as just one data point. Uh, we've, uh, we've been, you know, seen as from the outside in as being um, the transport, the capability across, across hybrid cloud scenarios. Um, the partnership, the partnership with, with Microsoft and Microsoft Azure uh, in particular is a coming together of, of these things because customers, when we talk to customers and, and, and when Microsoft talks to the customers, we hear from them, they want the ability to be, you know, as they get more prevalent in the cloud, as their workloads get more, uh, more pervasive in the cloud, they want to make sure they've got the same industrial strength data protection um, cloud in that they had while, while they were on-prem or primarily on-prem. Our solutions, uh, are completely hybrid. And so the partnership really brings together again, you know, technology that's engineered better together, our data protection and their, their cloud, best of class, uh, our channels working, working together and making sure that it's easy for customers to work, work with us and we're available on the Azure marketplace um, and our field force is also aligned around it. So it's again a 360 kind of conversation that we can have with customers uh, as, much of, as much of today's announcements are. Yeah, uh, Sanjay, uh, you, you talk about the hyperscalers. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, the, the integration of the Hedwig solution, work with DevOps and uh, really the, the, the cloud native type solutions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, of course, one of the things everybody was looking at when you were hired to this job is you've got background in the automation and developer world. So, you know, how is that seen in the, the update to the portfolio? 
uh, really that embracing of you know cloud native and right. developer environments. But cloud without automation is not a cloud, right? It's just it's just it's just infrastructure that's put somewhere else. It's deep deep degrees of it, of, of automation um, that really bring cloud to life, right? And and I was I was fortunate to have, have been in the DevOps world for a while uh, in a market leading with a market leading uh, product. And uh, was very pleasantly surprised when I when I came to Commvault and saw the deep degrees of automation and workflows that our core technology had. With the Hedwig acquisition, uh, being a platform layer, being the storage layer uh, that is multi-protocol and appeals incredibly to DevOps engineers because everything in the product um, you know, is, is callable through an API or a set of APIs. It's, it's rich, it's got workflows. And um, and it's multi-protocol. So whether you're using you know VMs or you're building the next generation container applications or you're just using it object storage, it doesn't matter. We can mix and match it across you know uh, private and and public cloud environments, and it's all callable and it's all programmable and it's all automated uh, in as much as you want it. All right. So Sanjay, I I know we can't talk too much about financial pieces uh, with, with where we are in the quarter. Uh, but what, one of the things uh, Dave Vellante and I were discussing and looking uh, at at Commvault, uh, you know, there's some good data. It, it, you know, especially if you look at win rates against some of the uh, some of the newer players in the space. Uh, the the data that we have uh, from ETR was showing uh, you know increased win rates uh, for Commvault. Just could you give us a little bit of your your competitive landscape? view uh, you, you talked about customers don't want to take too much risk you know how do you you balance between being you know a, a company with a large install base but you want to be you know more modern oh yeah and and you know the use cases we're talking about the cloud that we're, we're seen as leaders are are today's use cases not yesterday's use cases and we're we're winning on the basis of the fact that we respect where customers are coming from Okay, there's a lot of stuff that runs their business that is still good that isn't in the cloud that they're they're working their plans to journey from that to something else, as well as we're we're leading uh, in areas where they're headed in in the public cloud, and we always like to stay one to two steps ahead of the hard problems our customers are going to encounter. So our portfolio is is absolutely cloud ready. Our portfolio is rich in that in that capability, and and we're not slowing down. You know we're winning because we have the breadth of technology that we support both, you know source source data that customers want to, to want, want to protect, and target scenarios maybe the hyperscalers or anything else where customers want to take it, and the flexibility. The second thing, and and if you heard the the, the interview I did um, with Ron from from Johns Hopkins. It's the optimization of our technology around each of those cloud scenarios that gives our customers true, you know, true value around the compute and storage decisions they have to make, and, and we help them make uh, through deep through deep degrees of AI and, and ML built in. So, um, so it's not just about moving bits; it's about optimizing all of that uh, and the entire life cycle of that data from the point it's created to the point you archive it. Excellent. Well, Sanjay, I want to let you have the, the, the final word. Uh, give us what you want customers to have as the takeaway from uh, today's Future Ready event. Sure. Um, so first of all, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to thank all our, um, our, our audience here, our customers for being with us. It's, um, you know, being with us as a customer, being with us and looking at us as, as, uh, as a prospect for our technology. Um, we are investing like, uh, you know, we've invested over a billion dollars uh, over over a period of time uh, as a company in data protection, and we're taking that to a whole new level with with the innovations that we're bringing to the table. So, you know, we truly believe that the journey with as it pertains to data, the journey to the cloud requires you to be able to think through the life cycle from storing, protecting, optimizing, and using that data all the way through. And our solutions can be used independently, best of class across each of them or together, better together. And um, you know, we, I, I urge you to, to take a few minutes and, and, and look at um, some, of the, some of the great innovations we've brought to the table and, and rest assured that everything we're doing uh, is with the, with, the, with the hybrid cloud in mind and is, uh, is completely cloud optimized. All right, well, Sanjay Merchandani, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations to you and the team uh, on the work on the, the, the updates. Definitely look forward to hearing more in the future. Thanks, Stu, good to be here. All right, stay tuned. We've got more from Commvault Future Ready. I'm Stu Miniman and thank you for watching theCUBE.